to have so many youth start to talk about mental health advocacy and what we can do and what we're capable of when we really dig down deep into our souls, what, what we can achieve when we work together with a common goal. It's mind-blowing, it's astounding, you know. It's, it's about time that this is happening. Us as the North, we need to start funding those services that are holistic for the person, where they look at our spirit, our body, our mind. As an Indigenous person, we heal with our culture. It's having those people that have that lived experience, that are from the North, that know about the residential school systems that happen up here, that know about you know the homelessness that we deal with, the mental health issues that are specific to the North. People will go and make policy and stuff with just a thought in their mind without actually going out and experiencing and seeing what needs to be done. We are able to talk to the government, we're able to talk to change makers, we're able to advocate for these services. Un des obstacles pour uh, ma communauté LGBTQ+ du Québec, c'est encore et uh, toujours des obstacles au niveau de l'inclusivité, de, de la peur du jugement et de uh, la non accessibilité à plusieurs services. Il va falloir que ça change pour uh, qu'on puisse uh, offrir des services qui sont réellement bienfaisants. Si moi je prenais l'initiative puis que j'en parlais à mes amis, mais par la suite, comme par effet boule de neige, eux aussi ils allaient amener un changement dans la société par rapport à la santé mentale. Donc c'était vraiment personnel et vraiment comme volontaire de ma part de faire cette, euh, ces changements-là, ces choix-là. Being Atlantic Canadian is, I mean, having compassion for your neighbors, um, looking out for each other. So we're kind of having this generational gap of knowledge and people are being left in the dark. So by having these discussions and inviting all of these people to the table, it's how we can start combating that issue. From my perspective, just black males don't have the conversations enough and don't know where to go to. So self-identity is so important to me. Like we're desperately in need of mental health like resources and having those tough conversations. Being your best self and specifically seeing my brothers like become their best self. That's super important to me. I think that in the prairies to improve, we need to increase funding and increase recruitment, which means internships, job fairs, uh, pushing young people to go to university programs. We're forgetting all of these surrounding rural communities and they are just as important, if not more important, because they don't have the same ease of access. You wouldn't make somebody from a small town drive three, four, five hours to reach a hospital, so why do we do that with our mental health care? Mental health and suicide affects my community and kind of my people and in my indigeneity. Um, when you lose someone, you never, like that gut-wrenching feeling never ever leaves. And despite how like dark and gut-wrenching all of that is, you want to ensure it doesn't happen again. We can offer resources, but if that person we're offering these resources to doesn't feel like we're helping them, we failed. Here in BC, I would love to see more resources given to community-driven gatherings around the mental health conversation to kind of normalize that. I think if we, if we want to start a conversation, if we want to break the silence, the first step is acknowledging that sure everyone has those feelings, but that doesn't mean that they're trivial. It means that every person has worth and every person's conversation needs to be heard. It just starts with personal invitation. Um, I think it starts with just reaching out a hand to someone that you might not usually and slowly starting to close that divide between the two sides. And it's not something that is going to happen overnight, but I think uh, slowly it is possible. Being that one to voice your opinion and to start the need to advocate for more resources in the areas you're in, we need to see the wave progress. The wave just doesn't stop out in the ocean, it needs to come down to the shoreline too.